Welcome back to JavaScript The Basics. In this lesson, we're going to look at accessing properties of an object with dot and bracket notation. In our last lesson, we built a car together. Let's suppose you are a mechanic and you need to access a part or property value from your car or object or in some cases, even change the property values. Before we do anything, let's look at our car and add a new property and value. Let's add what would be an invalid variable to our car object. We can also add this invalid variable to our car with bracket notation. In both of these examples, we need to have quotes around our property. We could put quotes around the other properties, but don't need to. That would be considered bad practice. But when we have an invalid variable, we must surround it with quotes. It isn't possible to add this with dot notation. This is one of dot notation's limitations. We can't add variables that start with numbers, have spaces, or use reserved words such as var, function, or const. They need to be placed via the literal object notation or added with bracket notation. Let's add another property and value to our car using an invalid variable name. Car property function equals drive. We have to put quotes around the property name function because this is a JavaScript reserved keyword that would normally be an invalid variable. And then we have given it the value of the string drive. Now, let's return to our story of a mechanic trying to access property values from the car object. Let's start with dot notation. To access a property or a method of an object with dot notation, you use the name of the object, followed by a dot, then the name of the property or method you want to access. To access a property of an object with dot notation, you use the name of the object, followed by a period, then the name of the property you want to access. So let's imagine that we want to access the color red and the make Honda of the car. We would write object car dot property color and get red. We would write object car dot property make to get Honda. We can also change the property values using dot notation as well. Suppose we wanted to turn the car green and turn it into a Toyota. We would write object car dot property color and assign it the value green. We would write object car dot property make and assign it the value Toyota. We can access nearly every property in our object with dot notation, and in most cases, this is the preferable way to gain access to a property's value as it is much easier to type. But in some cases, dot notation falls short. As we saw earlier, we can't use dot notation with an invalid variable starting with a number, a JavaScript reserved keyword, or one that contains a space. Trying to access the property's origin year and function are going to error out with dot notation. Let's look at how to get access to invalid variable names for our properties with bracket notations. Now first, to access the properties of a value with bracket notation, we have to put a single or double quote around the property and place it inside of the brackets. Suppose we want to access the color and make of our car again. We write object car, opening square bracket, opening single or double quote, the property color, then a closed single or double quote, then a closed square bracket to get red. We write object car, opening square bracket, opening single or double quote, the property make, then a closed quote and a closed square bracket to get Honda. Now let's go ahead and see how bracket notation allows us to grab origin year property value and the property value of function. The process is exactly the same. The properties are already within quotes, and now we just place them within square brackets and we are all set. If bracket notation is so much more flexible than dot notation, why is dot notation so much more popular? Let's look at these two next to each other. Remember, the best coders, the best programmers are often referred to as lazy. This means that you are always doing things in the most efficient way. This is one small example of the ease of typing dot notation often makes it the first choice over bracket notation. Let's close out this lesson by taking one last look at a football and accessing all of its property value. As we look at this, we see that dot notation is going to give us access to the first three properties. However, when we get to the property made in, we can't access it because there is a space. Also, the property length and width doesn't have a space, but it does have a special character, making it an invalid variable. 
Remember, the quotes around the properties tip us off that we will most likely need bracket notation to access those properties long before we even begin to analyze them. All right, thanks for taking a look with me at dot and bracket notation. Let's head to the lab and put what we've learned into practice.